We had people come up to me at the break and were having conversations with me and one of them says, I think you know my friend Davy. And I'm like, oh my God, I've been trying to get Davy here forever, but Davy looks like he's 12, so I can't get him into a bar. He is 24 or something like that, but he looks so young. I met him at a cougar convention. <laughs> I went because I figured like, fuck yeah, cougar convention, I wanna see what that's like. They make you put on a name tag as you walk in, so every 20 year old frat boy in the world is like, Dixie, yeah, hey Dixie, Dixie, yeah. <laughs> that name tag thing seemed like a bad idea to me. Guys are walking up going, hi, I wanna tell you about how I've always been into cougars, and that's not a great opening line. Like, thanks for calling me old. <laughs> and they're just chatting away about their whole dating history, about the people they've been dating through the years. And as this guy is talking my ear off, this boy who looks so fucking young walks in front of me, and I see him pass by a couple times. He has a drink in his hand, so I know he's legal. <laughs> and I'm like, finally, after he passes by the third time, I tap the guy and I go, I'm sorry, I have to go talk to that boy. <laughs> and he watches me take off. And I go over and Davey is standing by the window and I'm like, hi, you having a good time? And he goes, I would have a really good time if people would stop asking me how old I am. <laughs> right? I'm like, you have a drink, I know you're legal. And he goes, yeah? He goes, I just came to this thing because I thought that women would start talking to me. I wouldn't have to start the conversation. I'm like, well, it's working so far. <laughs> so we're sitting there and all the guys who are going, Dixie, 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 are like looking and I'm sitting there with a 12 year old boy <laughs> for as far as they know. And they're like, what just happened? <laughs> and we're hitting it off. We're having a great conversation. And uh, there's this queue of guys off to the side just like, did she really just, of all of us, that's who she picked up on. We're having a conversation and he goes, you know, I took my bike here and it's a long way. Can you give me a ride home? I'm like, you're leaving the Cougar Convention with me? Yes, I can do that. <laughs> Knowing that it's gonna break those guys' brains. <laughs> we continue talking and after a while he says his mouth is dry. He goes, do you have any gum or anything? I'm like, you know what, I have something better. And I reach into my purse and the day before I'd gone to this gourmet event and I pull out lollipops. <laughs> and say, what flavor would you like to have? Maple bacon oh. or tiramisu? And he's like, maple bacon. Yeah. And the guys are like, what, what just happened? <laughs> they stood there and watched us all night long. And eventually we're starting to head out and these two women come up to us and they go, excuse us, you're a couple. We're filming a documentary about cougar couples. <laughs> and we would like to interview you. And Davey says, we'd love to talk to you. <laughs> so we go sit down in this conference room and they make a sign of release and they ask us questions. And they're like, so how did you two get together? And Davy says, well, she's a storyteller. I studied folklore at Davis. We just had this natural affinity for each other and I'm so excited, I'm about to lose my shit. <laughs> every time he talks, he sounds intelligent and every time I talk, I'm like, fuck yeah! <laughs> like, <laughs> so at some point, they finish with us and uh, we are in a documentary somewhere. I've never seen the footage, but I can't wait. And we walk out and the valet goes and gets my car and we get his bicycle and put it in the back while all the frat boys stand there and watch me drive home with the 12-year-old boy from a cougar convention. <laughs> <laughs>